excited too, Olaf. This is Arendelle's first Christmas in forever. The first of many to come. Ho, 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 everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Kick, Spider Verse, and Frozen 2 fans, California. And welcome to the net again of my Christmas Christmas review week. So, this time, I'm going to do a movie rant, one of the most unnecessary sequel for a comedy movie, for, which is none other than A Bad Mom Christmas, Kim Adio of 2017, which is a sequel that, honestly, guys, from the, honestly, to the sequel to the first film that came out, hmm. Well, it came out like seven years ago, and this film came out like six years ago, because I did my math in my brain. Anyway, guys, enough for the do. Let's talk about this abomination. Anyway, my thought on the first film. The first film was even enjoyment. Honestly, guys, the first film was enjoyment, was really amazing, and honestly, guys, and I do, man, but more I think about the first film, and more I just really appreciate how the first film turned out. But after I heard them making the sequel to this, I mean, to this, um, Hmm, I won't call it a franchise because I haven't made a third film. Anyway, after I heard that this film was going to get a sequel, I was like, why? Why this film got a sequel? After I saw the Westman trailer, I was not impressed. And I was like, you know what? All I want is a good comedy, good rap. That's all I want. But after I, honestly, after I watch, after I watch it in 2017, this film sucks. This film was so bad. It is not even funny. Anyway, guys, and anyway, and after I keep rewatching it, this film have got worst and worst and worst every single time I think about this piece of garbage. I guess that, but this is, has to be one of the second worst movie by Six Entertainment because my worst movie by Six Entertainment, which is then in the Happy Time Murders. Who in the white mind want to watch a Wedded movie featuring the puppet? Of featuring the puppet, I do like the concept, but the movie was was a piece of crap, was a piece of puppet crap. Anyway, and this just has to be one of the second worst comedy movie of 2017 because the worst comedy movie of 2017, which is none other than uh, the Emoji movie. Yeah, the Emoji movie is the worst comedy movie of 2017, and the worst movie of 2017, and not just that, it's honestly one of the worst anime movie I have seen in my life. Anyway. Here's the one character that I absolutely enjoy and keeps this movie away my hate, which is none other than a Christian Bell character. I love Christian Bell character. And to be honest, honestly, and to be honest, I love Christian Bell. Christian uh, 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 guy, Christian Bell, she's honestly one of the most attractive actress in the frozen. I mean in the on the guys for the frozen actress because number uh, on the guy my number one is Anderson Benzi. But Christian Bell, Christian Bell, she is such a cutie pie and I absolutely love her every single time I watch her movie. I work out her Instagram and yes, I follow her uh, and yes, I follow celebrity on Instagram, especially for Christian Bell. Anyway, Christian Bell character at least at least at least the director did not ruin her characters because she was acting the same that she was in the first film. But that's it. The, that's it. That is completely it. The rest of the film was completely coal, coal crap. Anyway, enough for the do. Let's give this film a whole box of coal. Anyway, let's talk about how bad this film is and give this <clears throat> and give this film like a whole box of coal. The story is honestly, the story is generic. Like, well, come on, we see that type of so the honestly, we see that type of story nonsense like a million freaking times because the story honestly, I don't honestly, I do not. Honestly, I will pee. I, I will pee. I do not want to talk about the story of this film. The story of this film is confusing as crap. The character, especially for Christian Bell, was unlikable, was really crap -o, and this film is mean spirit. Honestly, I'll get the character in a minute. Honestly, let's get the mean spirit tone. This film is mean spirit. And yes, I know a lot of people in the comment um, we'll get on me and keep saying, but dig this movie, uh, honestly, this film is called A Bad Mom, of course, of course, this film has some mean spirit, but look at the first film, and yeah, sure, the first film was completely mean spirit, but at least, at least, at least that film took the mean spirit 
and make it as a really better mean spirit way, just like The Simpsons and The Family Guy from the older episodes and the newer episode because the newer, on the guys, on the guy, I do agree that The Family Guy newer episode was completely doggy poop. Anyway, honestly for the honestly for the sequel, honestly this is not how you do a mean spirit tone. Anyway, and the cinematography, the cinematography was kind of bland. On the, on the guy, it's kind of bland. On the guy, you can't even see the killer through oppression. On the guy, it's kind of mommy I'm working. Um, on the guy, it's kind of mommy that I'm looking at the cardboard and the characters. I absolutely do not like every single character, well except the Christian Bell. Honestly, the Christian Bell character is the only character I absolutely care about this freaking movie. Anyway, the characters, especially for Christian Bell, the character was really unlikable and such a crap hole. Anyway, in the Minikunis characters. I love Mina Kunis. Don't get me wrong, I love Mina Kunis. But she, honestly, but her in this film, she was really dreadful in this film. She was really terrible. And honestly, I got a feeling that she don't want to be in this film. And can't we Hannes? I mean, Kaylee Hannes, I think. Yeah, her actress is real complicated. Anyway, honestly, guys, the same actress that she was in WandaVision and Hotel Transylvania 3 and 4, she was completely annoying. I cannot stand her, and I didn't like her. Honestly, guys, I didn't like her character in the. Honestly, I didn't like her character. Um, 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 for the begin with, because she was terrible in the first film. And hell, this is even worse than she was in the first film. And honestly, guys, and her mother, which is a cowboy girl over there, she drives me insane. And I do admit that character make her character. I mean her. Her main villain for Blue, uh, for Blue Beetle look like Wagaball than the character in this. On the guy, the main reason why I'm saying that because number one, on the guy, number one, on the guy, she, on the, she performed by the same character, and I absolutely did not like her and Blue Beetle because she, on the guy, she feel like a typical generic DC villain like I can see like a million times. And anyway, I would do a review on Blue Beetle on December 26th. Stay tuned for that. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't like her in this film because this character made her character in Blue Beetle as a main villain look like likable than her in this film because this is, has to be one of the this is, has to be one of the worst performances I have ever seen by her because next to her character in Blue Beetle and Christian Bell's mother, OMG, she is completely annoying as crap. She is honestly one of the worst character in this freaking film, and Mina Kunis's mother. I mean, which is her over there, that she was in that one show, that she was in the Power Mount, Power Mount Plus shows, which was a piece of that show, because that, honestly, got, whose show got canceled, which I'm probably she would understand how that show means something to her. Anyway, back up the saying. Yeah, she was completely mean spirit to the Mina Kunis character, because Mina Kunis, she really wanted to spend time with her family on the holiday, but all of a sudden... On the sun, her mother didn't want her because she really want her, I mean, want her daughter to go to be wanchy. Like, like, come on, it's called a bad mom. So, of course. Anyway. And yes, I understand that Daddy Home 2 did the same thing to Bad Mom Christmas, which I'm not going to watch that piece of garbage because, honestly, stay tuned. Stay tuned for why I won't watch a, a Daddy Home 2. And I do not care that Daddy Home movie got some frozen weapons. Just because you have a frozen weapons, it didn't mean a movie. It didn't mean to make a movie. Honestly, I didn't mean. It didn't mean to make a movie good. Because I'm not stupid. Anyway, end the ending. The ending is the most stupid, stupid way to end of this film. The ending is all about the male um do some inappropriate dancing, and all the girl was very happy and all, and boom, that's the end of the movie. You gotta be kidding me. That is the worst ending ever for a comedy movie. Anyway, I'm done. So, over guys, a bad mom Christmas. On the guys, I already know. I already know. I already know this film was really sucks because the trailer, the trailer suit up the movie. On the guys, even Christian Bell character was the Owen character I absolutely like in this film. Even this film was terrible, but that's not saying much. This film was really unnecessary. And this film have no right to be in this society. Sorry guys, A Bad Mom Christmas is such a terrible Christmas movie. Because this film made Christmas look bad. This just has to be this just has to be one of the number ten worst Christmas movie 
I have ever seen in my life. And this just has to be one um this just has to be one of the second worst comedy movie of twenty seventeen because my number one is the emoji movie. And this film is has to be one of the second worst movie by Six Entertainment because my number one worst movie by six by Six Entertainment, which is now the um which is now then of the Happy Time Motors. Yeah, Happy Time Motors was the worst piece of crap. And even I think Meg Two is the worst movie of twenty eighteen. But the Happy Time Motors is in the it's in the third second because number, uh, on the guy, my number two is Gotti starting um, John Zavosta. Anyway, I'm giving a bad mom Christmas a one out of ten. This is absolutely the worst of the worst. And I'm giving this film a seal of Nick Cage garbage. Well, welcome to the buy side. I wish Christian Bell characters deserve a heart emoji. So you guys, that was my movie Ryan on a bad mom Christmas. Yeah, screw this film and this film go go into the dumpster fire and stay there forever. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this rant, if you want to see more of this nonsense, please I highly recommend you you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification, and share the video with your whole family for all ages. Anyway, this is the only video you're gonna get because I'm gonna do a tune style of Love Actually, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, and I will do more of the first work of my future project, which is going to be a on the guy, which is another than the YouTube movie, starting Chris Duckman, nice Grace Randolph, Andrew Griffin, Sean PVS, Kyle, Mama Geekin, and Jane, and the villain called Jimmy from Geeku Gamer, which is going to be the main villain in the first film. The sequel is going to have Torture Fan as a main villain, and the third film, which is going to be the final out of the YouTube movie, which is another than Frozen Stain Studio, is going to be the big bad villain in the YouTube movie three. Which is going to be the last movie out of the YouTube movies. Anyway, and yes, I plan my franchise. Anyway, it's going to be a trilogy. It's going to be the best trilogy I ever did in my career. Anyway, have a great night, one. And I see you guys next... Honestly, guys, have a great night, one. And I see you guys next time. And if you want to watch a Ray Butter movie, I mean... Honestly, if you want to watch a Ray Butter with it all Christmas film, go watch Love Actually. Go watch Die Hard and even go watch Violent Night. Those three films have a much better story, much better characters, and much better concept for your comedy and your action film. Anyway, good night. See you guys tomorrow afternoon. Good night.